Hello and welcome back to the LFC transfer room. Today we have something special for you. We have an interview, an exclusive interview with former Chelsea and Newcastle player Jeremy. Jeremy gives us thoughts and opinions on the AFCON and who will win it this season's Champions League winner and his former teammate Joel Matip. We asked Jeremy why he thinks current Premier League leaders Manchester City have the edge over the chase and park including Liverpool and his former club Chelsea. Uh, we have to accept uh, we have to accept that uh, Manchester City first they have a strong squad and they are playing very well. As you see, as you mentioned, on the race, on the table, on the table, they are on top. They, I think they have 10 or 11 points ahead, which is showing that they, they are doing well. And also they want to, you know, they want to win the titles, which is normal because every big clubs have some ambition at the beginning of the season, which is first the premiership. So they are doing well. Mm, Chelsea is still there on the because mathematically they still have not uh, win. So I think on their head they have to continue to to believe that everything is possible. So uh, they wait and see, wait and see because uh, with my experience, the, the, everything can happen. We also asked Jeremy about Afcon with it being in his home country of Cameroon. We asked him who we think would win it this year. First of all, uh, we, 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 we as a Cameroonian, we are happy to host this uh, biggest tournament. It is one of the biggest tournament in the world. And uh, our government have decided to make it one of the best ever uh, AFCOM uh, organized, organized. And uh, I think we are still there. Uh, Yes, there's a COVID, there's a COVID, but uh, we are trying to take all the measures. So, which is as until now, everything is going very well. Uh, now, coming back to your question, um, who's gonna be the favor? It's very, very difficult now to 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 say who is gonna be the favor because the first leg is still playing because uh, some of the team has to play their last um, their last match for the first leg. We have so a lot of surprises, a lot, a lot of surprises because uh, when you look at uh, the, all the nations who are involved, most of the time you were saying because there's a lot of there's a many nations for the first times qualified for the Afcom, but when you look at their performance, it is something unbelievable, which is very good for the African football. Now, of course, we can say. It, uh, some of the nation who will be the favorite. Usually it is the host, Cameroon, of course, because uh, they, they, they are the one who organized. And also there's are still big names on when you look at the, 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 the ranking. When I, lo I, look, I watch some matches, Nigeria have a very strong squad. Uh, Mali have a very strong squad. Um, uh, Morocco, so Tunisia as well. So. It will be, I think for me, it will be, it's a very interesting because there's a lot of big contenders uh, still in the, in the track. So wait and see what is going to, sh uh, what we're going to see. Because for me, happy because uh, we have, the level is going, which is very good for the fans. With Liverpool's Joel Matip having an injury free season this year, we talked to Jeremy about his former Cameroon teammate and how important he thinks he is to this Liverpool side. Happy because now, first for him as a player to to do not have now injured because I think um, he has changed because when when uh, as a player when you have uh, injured most of the times is maybe you have to look what you eat or you have to if you are, you maybe you are not fit enough. I think he, the 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 clubs have uh, or himself because he has to start by himself. I think he changed some things and that is why now he's in he's fit. Now, for as a club, having Joe Mati fit, and it is it is a bonus, a big bonus, and uh, he will have for sure uh, help uh, help the club to you know to achieve uh, to achieve what uh, they are expecting. So for me, uh, it's very good for Liverpool, and also I'm happy because it's a it's a Cameroonian and also former Met. So I wish you all the best to start to stay fit because when he's fit. He, the club, he will help the clubs. 
We also asked Jeremy about his other form of Premier League club, Newcastle United, who are currently in a relegation battle. We asked him, does he think that they can avoid relegation to the championship this season? I think uh, the one of I have to first of all, uh, I play I play for Newcastle on on what I what I can wish to them is just to try to fight f to stay in the Premiership because it will be easier for them to to you know to bring uh, big names you know because when you go down it's difficult to bring uh, big names so when you are in the you know when you when you 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 are not in the premiership so for me i wish them all the best to stay and what i can uh, is well uh is, i think they still have times to bring some experienced player because i always say that to to fight for the relegation you need to space player and and until now they i think there's they are thinking, I hope they will bring some experienced players, but there's a possibility that when you look at the table, there's a possibility that they stay up and be with the budget that they have. You know, they, I think they have to invest now to bring because uh, they, they have finance, they have they have financed for that. And the goal now for AD it is to keep the, the club in the in the premiership. Jeremy has won the Champions League twice with Real Madrid. So we asked him who he thinks will win it this season. Good, good question. Uh, now, when you look at in terms of Champions League, now when you look at the the Champions League, it's difficult to predict who can win because uh, there's a lot of biggest team, big big team in the in the every uh, league in Spain, in Germany, in England, in France. Uh, so. Uh, it's very difficult now to try to guess, to, to predict who's going to win. But um, at the end of the day, because the, all these teams have the same potentiality. What, I'm, what I mean of the potentiality, the squad, the finance, the manager, the, everything to, 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 to the, the, a big clubs want. So uh, difficult to predict, but of, of course, I would, my heart will go to my former team because I played there. So for me, watching uh, Chelsea win again the Champions League, I will be very happy. You know, watching uh, Real Madrid, of course, because I played there. I said to you, with the clubs that I played for me, that's when this. That's why I always watch them because I play there. But it's not saying I'm not watching football, but I. Most of the time, when it is my former club who play, I'm interested and I'm, uh, I cheer him there. I will support them. With Jeremy being an African legend, we asked him about another African legend, Mohamed Salah. Salah played seventh in last season's Ballon d'Or, and with his current form, we asked him if he could have a shot at winning this year's Ballon d'Or. As an African, it is my wish, and uh, I, I hope and I wish him to continue to perform like that because. When you look at his performances these last three years, I would say that he's growing, growing, growing. This year is fantastic. Hopefully, he will continue like that because most of the times when you have this kind of season, the only thing who can make you stop th that to perform, it is injured. So I wish him all the best to avoid um, injury. And I think with his capability, he will continue to perform well and for us african we will be proud to have an african players ballon d'or our final question for the interview with jeremy we asked him about mohammed salah's contract situation and if he thinks the owners are making a mistake by not signing him as a club you need and you have to keep your best player it is you have to protect you have to keep them because those big players, you know, there will be other big clubs who want to sign them. So me, if I am the boss of one club, my best player, I will always protect their contract to keep them because there's a lot of advantage. First of all, they play for you and they perform well. And also when you go to maybe try to sign some other big players, they will be happy to come and join some big players. So there's a lot of advantage to keeping big player in one club. That is all for today's interview with Jeremy. Thank you so much for Jeremy for taking our questions. If you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe and leave a like and turn on that bell notification button. Also, share it with your friends if you think they would enjoy this content.